So, hey, tell me about The Rock and uh, Cody Rhodes. What happened there? Oh, okay. So, uh, Cody Rhodes, the whole thing has been that Cody's going to finish the story at WrestleMania. That was the story last year, too. And then he loses to Roman Reigns. So, for a full year, fans have been saying, like, okay, so next year Cody's going to get him. You know, they just wanted to get Roman to a thousand day reign. Now it's the next WrestleMania. It's happening this time. Cody's going to get him. Then Cody wins the Royal Rumble. So everybody's like, okay, it's happening. Everybody's getting all pumped up. And then <coughs> Seth Rollins comes out on TV and challenges Cody Rhodes um, to challenge him at WrestleMania for his world championship, not the WWE championship. And then The Rock steps into the picture with Roman Reigns. And Jake, to say that fans are up in arms about it, uh, is an understatement. They were chanting Die Rocky Die like it was back in 1996 on a recent episode of Raw or SmackDown or something. Die Rocky Die? You, do you remember that? Back when Rock was like a rookie, they used to oh, chant yeah. that at him? Now they're doing it again all these years. Like the most beloved figure in all of entertainment. Uh, now the fans are chewing him up and spitting him out because they feel like Cody Rhodes got fucked in this whole thing. Oh, well. <laughs> I... I I hate to say I told you so, but <laughs> now there's there are two schools of thought when it comes to this whole thing, and I'm curious which one you fall under. Some people are saying like, "Hey, no, The Rock is the right choice for this because it's the whole head of the table thing," and also they're trying to rehabilitate WWE's issue, uh, you know, image. And how better to do that than with a guy who's the biggest movie star in the world? On the other side, fans are saying like, hey, you can't do this to Cody. We want Cody. Uh, Cody's our guy. He's the future of WWE. Where do you stand on it, Jake? I th definitely think he's the future. You know, it's time for Roman to step down. Uh, it's been time, I think, mm -hmm. for him to step down. And uh, it's just a shame. that why do, they, why do all the good guys get fucked? Yep. You no, know, seems to me. And uh, Cody's worked hard, very, very hard. He's worked through injuries. He's worked through sickness. He's worked through it all. And still goes out there and performs unbelievably. And uh, for him to get the snafu again, that's going to leave a nasty taste in people's mouth. And, uh, you know, I could see him boycotting mania. I could see it too. Um, I mean, they're already, I mean, when you, when the rock after years of being this huge fan favorite and every time he returns, the fans lose their minds when, when the fans are spitting him back up, yeah, man, it tells you something. Yeah. They're going to have to do something there. They're going to have to rethink it. Rumor has it that, you know, between now and WrestleMania, maybe the uh, the gears are turning there in corporate where they're like, okay, maybe we need to turn this thing around. So we'll yeah. see. I, I think before it's over, Cody, you'll get it. I hope so. He certainly does deserve it. And he's yeah. he's one of those guys in wrestling today that feels like he's he's uh, he's got that old school flavor to him. Yep, he can do a lot of the new, cool, fun, you know, exciting yeah. stuff, but he's also got like the pacing and the style yeah. and the ability to sell like an old school guy. Yeah, he still knows how to wrestle. 